Okay, so we've unwrapped the uh, iTech Q series router, and these are all the parts that comes with it. These are uh, T bolts. They're, they'll go in the slots like that, and then these here are the um, clamp downs, and um, they just work with basically a nut like that in there. You need a packing piece on the back to prevent damage to the table. Uh, water pump because it's got a water cooled head on it um, and then we've wired it up so the wiring goes to the isolator here so L1 and L2 and then uh, just to the ground and then we're we're ready to go um, so we've got the uh, top off, we'll put the controller back underneath in a minute. Uh, <coughs> the manual, um, I've, I've downloaded this manual, you can get this manual from Scott Sargent website, but um, it's quite a comprehensive manual, um, at least 50 pages long. But um, that gives some idea also as to uh, how to um, assemble it and also the maintenance type of work. So the next uh, video we're going to start looking at how it all works. Right, we're setting up the iTech Q series CNC router. We've taken it out of its uh, packaging, installed it on a table. With wheels on it so it's easy to move around in the workshop. Um, this is the uh, back end of it we're looking at here, but we're just showing you this so we can uh, see all around the machine. First of all, let's have a look at the machine. The um, spindle is an extremely high quality um, motor, electro spindle. It's uh, water cooled. It's important that water is running through this um, when it's running to keep the bearings cool. Um, the actual main axes are these high quality hardened HSK slideways, exactly the same as you get on a top of the range um, CNC machine, but you're getting that here, all in this little package. Same thing with the ball screw here. Uh, the ball screws on all the axes um, drive the machine, so this is the um, horizontal, here's the Z axis and the uh, main y-axis is through through there. There's couplers here and um, each axis is driven by a step motor. The y-axis has um, the lead off on the end of the table here which is quite handy um, for using longer work pieces or just for putting things on and so on. So all the connections are at the back end of the machine. We've got the main controller down there. That's wired through an isolator here and the uh, power cable which is here actually goes through the um, far end of the control box and it wires directly to this isolator. So the isolator will then just shut everything off. Um, the water pump is a submersible pump like that, and that just runs off its own single phase supply. So first thing is to um, get that running before we power the machine up. And what I've done here is to just cable tie the in and the out pipe, it doesn't matter which way around you have them, uh, cable tie them together with the out one slightly shorter so we can see that it's, um, that it's running at all times. So we've got the machine um, connected, it's on its table. Um, the handheld controller um, is here. So the USB port is on the top here. And we'll be seeing all these functions uh, presently, but we have here the X0 um, or home 
uh, well, up and down, uh, sorry, forward and backward. Same thing with the Y, Z up and down here. And that button there zeroes the X and Y axis wherever your position is. Same thing there. So that's your home position. Um, and then this um, button here, the run pause, is what's going to um, allow us to run the program. Stop obviously will cancel at any point. Um, so in order to power up, we're just going to run through quickly. We can go through this in uh, more detail uh, later on. Um, sorry, switch the isolator on first. And then we're powered up there. Power up. And here for the uh, main functions. Then we'll see on here it's initialising the system. And we're ready to ready to go on there. If I put that there we can see it a bit more clearly. So what we're going to do is just to um, show it running to start with and then we'll write, write a program and um, run it. At any point if you want to switch the uh, main spindle on we press that. It'll start the main spindle up. Start the machine is to go back to the origin which is there so we press the green button and the machine will move to its origin now um, we can see that we're at zero for the X and the Y but plus 40 for the um, Z position we can change all that so if we want to zero onto the corner of the bed say normally we um, we'll see this in the software but <coughs> this uh, position here is the zero position so all measurements are taken from here we can change that though in the um, Vectrix software which comes with the machine so we could work from any other corner of the machine but normally we work from a corner of the machine <coughs> so if we wanted to move that um, let's say we want to bring the z-axis down So that's on the uh, corner there as you can see. So if we want to zero the machine at that point, we press X and Y to zero, which they already are, and then the Z zero and we'll see that change to zero. So that now is the zero position for the machine. If we go to the origin again, the machine's up, so it's showing plus 40 there. We are 40 millimetres above the bed there. 